what is up guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create a free website now the first thing that you need to do is head over to pantheon.io i'm going to leave a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and click on that once you're on this website you're going to go ahead and click on get started now something you want to keep in mind about pantheon.io they only let you have two websites meaning you can only host two websites on pantheon now with pantheon you can't go ahead and choose the name that you want for your for your website url or your website link you're gonna have to use their subdomain so it's probably gonna be your website name dot pantheon dot io now that's just because you are using a uh, free hosting now of course if you wanted to have your own custom domain you're gonna go ahead and have to get paid hosting. Now you can go ahead and do that with many um, hosting providers. I would highly suggest SiteGround. I'll have a link to that in the description. So you guys can go ahead and create an account if you guys wanna have a custom domain. But if you just want a free website and you just wanna go ahead and learn how to build a website, this is gonna really help you guys out. So now that we've kind of covered that, go ahead and create an account. Um, you can also use Connect with Google uh that's just to make it a lot faster but that's entirely up to you how you want to go ahead and create an account now i'm going to go ahead and just log in because i've already created an account so once you have logged in you're going to be prompted a screen to create your subdomain which is pretty much the link to your website now like i said you're not really going to have the link that you want you're not going to have a custom link um, to your website since you are using a free um, hosting plan so I'm just going to go ahead and type in Uriel's website. And as you can tell, it's going to add it right in between dev and Pantheon site.io. Now that's fine because I'm just going to go ahead and test this website out. So I'm, I'm in the United States and that's where I want um, the servers to be. So then I can have a faster connection. I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and click on WordPress and we're gonna just wanna click on deploy. And you're just gonna want that to load. I'm probably gonna skip this part. So once that is completed loading there, you're gonna go ahead and click on visit your Pantheon site dashboard. And then from here, we're gonna have a few options. Actually, this um, dashboard might be a little bit confusing, but there's only two things that we need to focus on. And that's pretty much um, these two links here, visit development site and site admin. So these are just links to your website. Everything else you really don't need to worry about because you're only gonna be working on the dev site. You're not really gonna have access to the test or the live. So you really don't need to worry about anything else. But I did wanna show you just in case you're a little bit confused, um, once you once you log out of Pantheon and then log back in, you're going to be prompted this screen once you log back in. The moment you log back in, you're going to see your website here. So you're just going to have to click on your website. And then if you want to view your website, just go ahead and click on visit development site. And then we're just going to have to set up our WordPress account. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my language which is uh, English, United States, and I'm gonna click continue. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and set up an account with WordPress. So I'm gonna first name my website here. So I'm just gonna call this Uriel's website. And my username is gonna be Uriel and my password will be something else. So I'm gonna go and hide this. Okay, now it is a weak password and that's fine. This is only a test website. And now you just need to add your email. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on discourage search engines from indexing our website. I don't want Google to index our website because this is just a test website. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on install WordPress.
and I'm going to update this password here and then I'm going to click on login. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add the credentials that I added to create a WordPress account. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on login with those credentials. So once you log in, you're going to go ahead and see the WordPress dashboard. Now don't get confused with all these settings. We're just going to go ahead and import a website. So what we need to do next is go ahead and open a new tab and then type in plocks, plocks.pro and click enter. I will leave a link to this website in the description so you guys can go ahead and click on that. Now, once you're on this website, you're going to go ahead and scroll down. And you're going to see a few websites on here. Now, you're going to see some of them are pro and some of them are free. Now, the ones that are free were able to download and just completely import. So it, honestly, it doesn't really matter which website you choose right now because you're not going to be importing that exact website. All we need is just a download file. So go ahead and click on any of the websites that are free. I suggest just clicking on this one. We will end up choosing our website um, later on in the video. So from here, go ahead and click on download. And you'll see that it's, it's on the right side here. If I didn't um, show you guys where that is, it's right here. You're just going to want to click on download. And then now you can see that we have a uh, downloadable file. It's called Plox. So now head over to your dashboard. Now head over to appearance and themes. And then click on add new. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and click on upload theme. And then go ahead and choose a file. Now we just need to choose a file that we just downloaded. And that's going to be called plocks. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. And as you can tell, we have our file in here. Now we're just going to go ahead and click on install now. And then click on activate. And then from there, you're going to want to click on install plocks core plugin. So go ahead and click on this button here. And let that activate. Now go ahead and click on demo importer. Now you're going to see those same websites that we were just looking at. So the website that we're going to go ahead and choose is going to be now you can just kind of look through this and find a good website that you see. Now the ones that you're not going to be able to download or import are the ones that are called pro only. Now for this example, I'm going to choose this simple website here. Now of course you can choose any of these other websites. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on import. I'm going to click continue. Install plugins. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on skip. And I'm going to want to import all the content. So I'm going to click import content. And I'm just going to let that load. So once that's done loading, you're going to go ahead and click on close. And now we're going to be able to view our website. So over here at the top left, go ahead and click on visit site. Just hover over your website name and click on visit site. So once that's done loading, you're going to go ahead and see your website here. And you can see that everything loaded properly and it all looks really great. Now this looks like a really good website here. Now I'm going to just going to go through every single page. I'm going to go ahead and click on services. And as you can tell, our services page is also created as well. Now this looks like a great website that you could probably sell for a good amount, amount of revenue. Now, as you can tell, we have an entirely built website and we did this within a couple of minutes. Now, all we need to do is just start editing the content. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is just how to edit the top portion here. 
So if you want to change this logo, you're going to go ahead and click on customize. Now just let that load, go to site identity, click on site identity, and then you're going to see our logo here. So from here, we can go ahead and just remove this logo and then just add a new logo. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add the same logo that I had before, and I'm going to skip, I'm going to click on skip cropping. Now, as you can tell, our logo is back added, and that's fine. Now, you don't really need to touch up any of the other settings. That's the only one that you need to touch up in order to change your logo. Now, if you want to just change some of the menu items, go ahead and go to da the dashboard, and then go to Appearance, and go to Menus. Now, here you have your pages. Now, you can go ahead and just move these around, and organize them how you wish and then just go ahead and click on save menu now if you want to create any pages just go to pages and then you can go ahead and just click add new and add a page now I'm gonna walk you through creating a page kind of towards the end of this video what I'm gonna show you now is how to edit the website content so once you're on a specific page Go ahead and click on edit with Elementor. Now from here, this is just a simple page builder. So what you need to do to, in order to change out this text here is just go ahead and click on it and then go to a secondary heading. And then you're going to see that we have the text on here. Now we can just go ahead and remove this text if we wanted to. And then as you can tell, it's going to refresh for us. And now we don't have that creativity on there. Okay. Now I can easily add any text to this that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and type in hello. And as you can tell, now we have hello. Now, of course, this doesn't really go with our title. But, I, but we can easily just edit our text there. Now, if we want to edit the description, go ahead and click on the description. And as you can tell, you can edit the text here. And I can just go ahead and remove this and I can edit the text. And I can click on this button here and I have my button text right above the label and we can go ahead and change that to anything. Maybe click on, maybe change it to click here. Now, if you want to change any of the styling, just go ahead and click on the style and you can go ahead and change the color of the bun here. But what I would actually do is I would go into background type and it should be right in here color and you can go ahead and choose any of these colors. Uh, let me go ahead and choose this black one. So we can go ahead and choose black. And, but I think it was good how it was before. So I'm going to just click backspace here and I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to click on command Z and I'm going to revert back. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and have our, um, our image. Now we can just go to go ahead and click on this image here and you can just swap out the image. You can choose any of the images that we have here, or you can upload your own custom image. And you can just choose your file and choose your image and then just upload it there. And it's the same concept with pretty much all of this. You can go ahead and just click on this and then you can start editing the text. So as you can tell, you can edit the text right here. And then from here, you can go ahead and edit any of these icons just by clicking on them. And you can just expand them and, and add a different icon and just change out the name. Now, same concept down here. And with this, with this portfolio, you can just go ahead and click on this. And then just go to layout. And you, and you can go ahead and just um, organize these. We can, maybe we can do four. And 
and you can go ahead and change those up. And that's pretty much set there. Now this is on our footer, so we can edit our footer as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just view our website. Once you've done with once you're done with all your changes, go ahead and click on update. And that's going to refresh your website over here. As you can tell, our website is looking great. Now, if we want to edit our footer, our footer is just the bottom portion of your website. Go ahead and click on, go ahead and select um, edit with Elementor and just click on site footer. Now from here, it's the same process. You can go ahead and click on any of these and start editing away. Or you can go to your widgets and you can just start adding some text. But I'll be showing you guys how to do that towards the end of the video. And then you can go ahead and edit out, edit this text as well. But this is just connected to your, to your menu. And then you can go ahead and click on this widget here. And then just go ahead and edit the, the icons as well. And same goes for your number and the logo. This, your logo is automatically set with the logo that you changed that we changed in the beginning. So that's automatically gonna be set for you. Now, if you are wondering how to create a custom footer and how to add a custom header, I do have a video on that. So make sure to check that out on my channel. So let me go ahead and just show you here how to, how to um, design a page. So Go to your pages and then click on add new. And then I'm just going to go ahead and name this page. I'm going to name this test page. Now this would be the same process to creating any page. Now go ahead and click on publish and then click on edit with Elementor. Now from here, we can go ahead and add some widgets. So I'm going to add a title. And you can just click on this title here and start editing. So I'm going to call this my title. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to my widgets here by clicking on this box in the corner of the of the editing panel. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on text editor. And I'm going to add that in. And now we can just add a description here. And you can go ahead and click on this widget and you can start editing the text. Now I'm going to go back to my widgets or to my elements. That's also what they're called as well. And I'm going to go ahead and grab an image and I'm going to add that image there. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this image and I'm going to choose an image by clicking on this image box and I'm going to go on media library or you can go on select file and upload an image. But I'm going to go ahead and choose on I'm going to choose any of these images here. And then I'm going to click on insert media and as you can tell now we have our image now if we wanted to move our image to the to the left we can just click on this alignment and move it to the left to the center to the right and that's pretty much how we would add content and same goes with most of these widgets it's just a dragging and dropping if we wanted to add a video we could just drag and drop a video and just go ahead and remove this link and add a video link um, add a youtube link or you can add a vimeo link or a daily motion or you can even self-host and self-host is basically you just upload your own video. So you just select your file and upload your video. And then you just go ahead and now you could just visit your website and just see how it looks before saving it. And then once, once it looks great on your website, go back to your editor and then just go ahead and click on update. And that's going to refresh a page for you. And there you have it. Now I'm going to go to the home page and just take a look at this. So everything is looking great. Now that's it for this video. If you did find this video helpful, please consider subscribing and liking the video so you don't miss out on any future website tutorials. Now, if you are interested in building your own website agency company, I do have a course where I walk you through selling a website, 
the onboarding of your website client to even building your website. Now just go ahead and click on the link in the description and you can go ahead and learn more about that. Now, I do appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys do have any questions, just feel free to comment down below and I'll definitely get back to you. Now, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.